So the Youth Leadership Academy is a program within the, the unit of FACT. And what we do is we raise awareness within the community. And we grab about 30 students uh, from all different high schools. I like it, like it's very cool. Like it teaches me a lot of, you know, leadership traits, how to be a better leader, how to lead the right way and help people, help our community out. It's like a second family, although we only go to, we only see each other one Thursday out of like every month. It's still something to look forward to because you know it's gonna be nothing but hard work and fun. Being here at YLA has opened so many more opportunities for me. Like um, I'm now part of this making of men class. Um, I'm now part of OU and OSU's leadership classes. It's just, it's just opened a whole new world of opportunities for me and I'm just so grateful for that. The future that they have is limitless. Uh, all the hard work that they have put into this program, all the things that they have taught me, uh, it's priceless. I love it. I've also learned how to better express myself. They've just taught me how to show who I am and it's been very beneficial to me. It's like networking. I'm branching out and meeting different people. This program had taught me that as far as like, you know, being a better leader, uh, learning how to raise money for people. I just want to be a, like a good role model. And they raise money for a nonprofit of their choice. Uh, this year, kids picked Pivot. And now today, they're actually doing their interviews to raise money for Pivot. You know, we chose Pivot as a nonprofit, you know, to raise awareness for and money for because we felt like uh, the kids that come through there, they're, you know, they just like us, like they same age, like. It's so much fun. Um, it's been great to see them work on their presentation skills and to be able to teach them things along the way about how companies work, what kind of questions they might ask, what kind of questions they can ask them, how they can get the conversation started, how to keep it going. It's been very, very impressive. It's having these kids that are going to high school and uh, they are putting themselves out there in front of all of these companies. What I'm doing, me explaining to my little sister and her friends, they think it's pretty cool that the police are actually taking time out of their day to work with future leaders of Oklahoma and helping us achieve higher like goals than what we've had and opening doors to like things that we've never had. So when they can see a positive side of law enforcement and we're actually teaching them things, I mean, it, it brings a smile to their face. It helps bridge the gap between like the youth and the police because this program shows that police aren't the way they're perceived all the time and, and it just shows what else the police does and it shows their true colors. A lot of these kids, when we first met them, they were like, you know, we don't like the police. Uh, we are building this relationship they are learning that, you know, the police is not just there to give tickets and take people to jail. They are learning that, you know, our biggest goal is to help them out and, and be there for them. So uh, it, it's, it's just really been a cool experience bonding with them, talking with them. And I want to break the cycle of, you know, the bad between the police and the community. They have a very challenging job every day, and I see all of the heart and soul they put back into the community and into these students. I learned that they just like, you know, they're people, like they're, they're leaders. They're leaders for the community. They come in, they greet them by hugging them. You can tell they trust them. They're asking for advice. Um, they're asking if they need a ride. I mean, they just trust them. There's definitely a relationship that is built on care and trust between the officers and the students. It made me look at like police in a different way. It made me change my whole perspective. Like they're humans too, just doing their job. If you take the time to get to know them, then it's like worth it because they help a lot. Man, I really, really, really hope that they get to uh, basically show that they're able to succeed in life. They can do any and everything that they put their minds to because at the end of the day, these kids are our future. I mean, we're, we're going to get old and we're going to be dependent on these kids and we need to prepare them as best as we possibly can. And I feel like this YLA is definitely preparing them for the real world. This one day out of every month, it just brightens like our whole rest of our week. Like I was looking forward to this, it really was. I'm gonna miss it, two drops.
Congratulations, Class 5. What you have done this year has been good. In fact, it's been better than good. It's been great. Let me tell you what I've witnessed you all do. You took a chance and joined a leadership program led by police officers, not really knowing exactly what you were going to be getting into. You cared deeply about a particular issue and you became super passionate about it. I'm sure you lost sleep over your preparation and I know you dreamed about the positive outcomes. You set super high goals for yourself, goals so many people doubted you even had the ability to be successful with. This is the stuff that separates good leaders from great leaders. You see, great leaders care more about others than most people think is wise. Great leaders risk more than what other people think is safe. And great leaders dream more than most people think is practical. And great leaders expect more than other people think is possible. Class five, you cared more, you risked more, you dreamed more, you expected more, and that is what makes you great. This good feeling you have inside right now is not a feeling of pleasure, it is in fact happiness. And the difference between pleasure and happiness is this. Someone else can bring you pleasure, but true happiness can only be achieved by doing for others. Class five, you're happy because you spent the year othering. <laughs> I think that's the word. <laughs> Keep othering and you will continue to be great leaders. I am so honored that I had the opportunity to work with you this year. And on behalf of the men and women at the Oklahoma City Police Department and the men and women that work with you this year, I wanna say congratulations and job well done. Keep making a difference. <laughs>